So last week we had the Oscars where rich dude slapped a rich dude. And the Grammy said, hold my beer. Because I, I, I don't know if you remember, um, there was a guy about five years ago um, who everybody said, yeah, hey, this guy, he pulls his knife out and jerks off at people without their permission. And they're like, is this true? And he said, yeah, I pull my knife and jerk off at people without their permission. My bad. Um, well, last night he just won a Grammy. Cool. Shades of Roman Polanski there. I tuned in late, but the part of the Grammys I did see actually was pretty good. The performances were really good. Um, I think I tuned in right before Billie Eilish went on, which yes. made me happy. Yes, the singing and dancing of the corpse of a corrupt and rotted institution. Yes, yes. Very entertaining. Much like the microbes consuming the corpse of a beached whale. A lovely oh, Billie time. Eilish was good. <laughs> How have you been, Tara? You, you feeling okay? Voice a little, so I'm sorry if I sound weird. Um, I worked all weekend and one of the stylists had a cold and I think I picked it up. Yeah. Um, not COVID. She tested every day and I've tested and it's not COVID, but which is one of the, the, the fucked up things about the pandemic is every sniffle, every <laughs> cough, every scratch is like, holy shit. Yeah. I, I kind of always have a little cough because of acid reflux. Um, that too. It sucks. you kids might not know, like, I don't really get heartburn, but I get, I always kind of have a little cough and I feel like I need to constantly tell people like, no, no, I just have acid reflux. as so they want to know that. I, I want to know who's, whose design philosophy it was to put a fleshy bag of sulfuric acid right in the core of our bodies. Well, listen, just be glad for that fleshy bag of acid because Dan is missing a lot of the parts that make those various acids and he has to take store-bought now or he can't eat food. And it sucks. And it's and, expensive. Yeah, it's expensive. And he for, if he forgets to take the pill, not great. Um, so I really appreciate my fleshy bag of acid these days. I, because without it, life is hard. I have, when I sleep, um, I get the, the I, I, this is just charming. I belch acid into my own lungs and awaken myself in the oh. middle of the night. With this nasty, I'm trying to cough acid out of my lungs, so I'm suffocating and burning at the same time. And I'm like, that sounds really painful. Who designed this nightmare thing? Who built I this? Just, I get a cough <laughs> if I lay down for too long. Yeah. Who designed this nightmare? It's, oh, it's not sulfuric. It's hydrochloric. Never mind. I'm pretty sure everybody in the YouTube comments actually. You know how many comments there were informing me that Will Smith's for real name is Willard and not William? I don't know because I don't read them. I don't know why you do. I just want to let you guys know that reading the comments before you post one is free. I don't know why you read them. I, I don't. Do, do you not like yourself? Why do you go there? It's terrible. No, I, no, I don't like myself. Have you met me? <laughs> Each week, Catherine, Radio, Radio Dead Air audience, go out and be worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible things, bring back your little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You? And, um, this week we're going to kick off with the uh, last week was what uh, I like to call Abandoned Internet Day. Which the rest of you know as April Fools. I see anything except the Oreo packets thing, which is actually a good idea. It's well, Oreo put out a tweet saying that they were going to put the Oreo cream in like packets like you get ketchup. I've I, I will say what, what's what I've noticed about April Fool's is the only people left doing the April Fool shit are brands. Regular people. Kinda, yeah. Regular people don't do that shit because I think the pandemic in the last five years just kind of beat it out of us. We, we're we're I think done. The, I think the Internet has really ruined it. Yeah. 
Because it used to be like you leave a rubber snake in the fridge, ha ha. And then the internet happened and now we all have to be performing all the time. Well, the, and part of the internet is it ruined it. Part of the problem is a lot of people don't understand that a joke is not a lie. And a prank is not a lie. You know, like one morning you hop on uh, social media, you're like, I'm sorry, everybody, I have cancer. Like, oh, no, April Fools. That's that's not a prank. That's cruel. I did one year announce that I had been hired to be David Wright's personal stylist, um, which was a multi-layered joke because I love David Wright. But also, if you knew me at all, when David Wright was playing for the Mets, I was adamant that he couldn't dress for shit. Like, dude wore a lot of Ed Hardy. It was sad. And most of my friends were like, oh, haha, ha, you're so funny. And my sister was like, that's so exciting. Congratulations. Who's David Wright? <laughs> she had no idea who David Wright was. So I had to explain well, to her that it was a joke. And I'm like, I'm sorry to get you so excited. Well, because it's mostly brands these days, um, they're the ones most likely to get themselves into trouble. And not only did this brand not understand that pranks are not lies, um also not a prank is um fraud Fra fraud is not a prank fury as beer company's april fool's prank backfires spectacularly this was some there were some layers to this shit yo uh a british company has come under fire online after people were le left feeling scammed following their april fool's marketing st stunt people took to twitter to share their anger after receiving april fool's messages from beer subscription site Beer Company, B-I-E-R. See what they did there. Uh, they said they were, quote, this month's winners of free beer for life. So people were getting texts saying, hey, you just won free beer for life. Email, which came with the subject line, urgent, read, we're thrilled to share some exciting news with you. Out of all the entries this month, you are our fourth black card winner. The email instructed the customer to follow a link, use promotional code to claim the prize. But when customers followed these instructions, they not only found they had not won free beer, but they had also been signed up for a monthly subscription costing $30. That's not okay. That's, that's, that's not legal, I don't think, actually. Um, you, you can't say, you want a free thing, and then, no, we're going to take your money. Um, that's, that is fraud. That is actually fraud. You have committed fraud. Literally, even when a company is running a contest, like McDonald's Monopoly thing, right? Right. Which, by the way, if you haven't seen the documentary McMillions, it's yeah. amazing and gets so much darker than you expect. But the Monopoly thing, if you go in and buy your meal and you get the piece, you will notice in very fine print, it says no purchase necessary. Right. Because they're not allowed legally to force you to spend money to earn a prize. Right. So you literally could Just write to piece, the company right. and they will have to send you a game piece. Yeah. Any, and that goes for any corporate contest. Like, look at the, and people probably know this. I'm telling you what you already know. Look at the fine print. They will say, like, no purchase necessary. You can literally write the company and they will have to send you whatever thing you need to have a chance to win. Right. You, you definitely so like they can't even force you to spend money to definitely have a chance at it. Except in this case, it wasn't even a contest. Right. Like to be like, you won a contest that doesn't exist and now you've given us money that I don't think that's going to work out for them. Yeah, no, it's it's really not. So then what they did was they're like, well, we're sorry. We'll give you a month of free beer anyway. As a way of saying we're sorry, except they they didn't give anyone instructions on in how to unsubscribe. Oh, but you're still gonna have to give us money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what my solution is for things like this, and it has really worked out for me. Um, because we're all subscribed to a hundred things we've forgotten about or don't want, and they make it really hard to unsubscribe, right? Yeah. Just just get your debit card stolen. Yes. <laughs> I literally just I literally just had that experience. 
uh, my debit card, I lost, actually for real lost it. And now I keep getting messages from folks like, hey, we can't charge your card. And I'm like, Thanks, so they're going. And we can't send you your thing this month. We can't give you access to the app. And you're like, oh, no, what a tragedy. Bye. Moving along, this is from Germany. And uh, <laughs> you know, all those people who keep saying, well, um, number one, uh, the, uh, the vaccine is going to kill you because it's terrible and has been tested yeah. and it's evil and that's wrong. And two, that the vaccine has microchips in it and they're going to track you from space with, I don't know, aliens or some shit. Um, Not with your phone. Right, no. With, with, with the you microchip. spend extra money. Yeah. Um, well, turns out there's one dude who has, I think he has so many microchips in him now, apparently, I think he's the Borg. Um, Man is suspected of getting more than 87 uh, coronavirus vaccine shots so he could sell fake vaccine certificates. Uh, a man is accused of receiving at least 87 vaccine doses in order to use the real batch numbers on fake certificates that he could sell to anti anti-vaxxers. By taking the shot, the man in his 60s got real vaccine batch numbers that he could put on fake vaccine certificates. According to uh, the Free Press, the man went to vaccine centers in eastern Germany and was vaccinated up to three times a day, receiving 87 vaccines in the state of Saxony alone. And that's why they say more than. They don't know how many this guy actually got. I mean, in a way, he kind of proved that it's safe, didn't he? Like, if it wasn't, his ass would be dead now. Yeah. Like, Jesus. If it was going to kill anybody, it would definitely kill this guy. And I'm But also, like, either you are a person who wanted to be vaccinated, but doesn't mind other people not being you, which is a little weird. Yeah. Or... Somehow you got elected or agreed to be the sacrificial lamb. Like, what fucking cult did you piss off the leader of to be the guy? Well, I'm, I'm, what, what concerns me about this, among many things, what concerns me about this is of all the scams to make money. You picked the one that gave you multiple injections per day. Like, couldn't you just don't like kink, don't kink shame? <laughs> couldn't you just like make a fake company and sell shit on Amazon like everybody else? Yeah. Did you? Oh, this is this is this is like the Amazon scam. What people will do is they will pay shoplifters to go around to comp to, to stores in their era area steal whatever they can bring it back and then they will sell it on amazon because amazon don't fucking care so they're using Am eBay? no on amazon they're can using you sell one of can you sell one of something on amazon oh yeah you just sell an a you make an amazon storefront and 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 they're selling you could sell one of it and then say oh now we're out of stock they're they're, they're using amazon as a fence <laughs> Terrible, but clever. And you could do that. But no, you pick the one where you're getting injected three times a day. And like, even with the vaccine being safe, I mean, I guess he's okay. Yeah, I mean, so he's I, fine. I guess that's an okay thing to do. I mean, if you're 60 and you're getting something shot into you three times a day and it doesn't kill you, I'd call that safe. Yeah. He's never going to have a cold again. <laughs> I just, his immune or system. He is a cold now. His immune system is probably like, oh, fuck, they're back again. Yeah, like come on, just put your stuff like, anywhere. You, Jesus. He is now COVID pool. <laughs> he is coronavirus incarnate. I don't know what superpowers that gives you. Well, people can deny you exist.
That, that's that's yeah. Um, uh, let's move over to the UK, and this one is. You know, we 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 are firmly an ACAB uh, establishment here at Radio Dead Air, and um, this this definitely falls into that category. This is so needless and stupid, is what what drives me crazy about this one. I mean, what this? Good God, you fucking idiot! Uh Bobby on beat arrested after <laughs> on the beat. Oh no. Arrested after being filmed apparently to commit sex act on himself in the park. On the beat. Do you get it? <laughs> Metropolitan police said it was absolutely horrified and saddened. <laughs> they weren't saddened. They were probably amused as hell like all the rest of us. A uh, police community support worker has been arrested on suspicion of outraging public decency after he was filmed appearing to pleasure himself on a park bench while looking at his phone. Video of the, the video of playing the... With, it's, just playing with the nightstick, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Swinging the old billy club. Uh, video of the incident was up, uploaded to Twitter on Wednesday, which is terrible. <laughs> Both are tagging the Met, asking the force to explain why one of your officers is having a wake in the park. <laughs> Dang. The video, uh, the officer can be seen sitting on a bench and pleasuring himself as he views content on his phone. Man is in uniform and his cap by the side. The incident is believed to have taken place in South London. The man is... a park bench. He didn't even go bench. behind a tree. No. On a bench. Man in your also, uniform. In uniform. Man is also okay. seen looking over his shoulder to check his surroundings, but he's unaware he's being filmed by a member of the public who then confronts, confronts him and captures his bad number. That's all right. Not only that, he's a terrible cop because his situational yeah. awareness sucks. Like, of the two cops in Hot Fuzz, you are not <laughs> Simon Pegg. You are not Simon you are nick frost yeah <laughs> just you couldn't even find a bathroom somewhere you're a cop if you walk into to starbucks like oh the bathrooms are only for customers you'd be like i'm a fucking cop I'm like okay and then you go in there and jerk off nobody can see you but no at starbucks please don't do that please don't do that no don't because someone has to clean that up yeah and they make nine dollars an hour they do. I, this, but even a tree. Even behind a tree. I mean, it's the UK. Okay. Haven't you seen how not to be seen? Every every cop is not issued a car. I know. Right. But there's other places you can go besides like full view. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Wet fuzz. Yeah, Rowdy Burger. That's just terrible, but it's true. Like, why in the, why in the name of, what was, what got you so excited in the middle of the work day? You're like, you know what? I got to deal with this. This, this, I have to, I have to do this right here, right now. <laughs> like, are men okay? Cruz said, "Did he win a Did he win a Grammy afterward?" <laughs> <laughs> That's he didn't qualify for this year. Maybe next year. Maybe next year. He got in. It's too late. He got in. At the yeah, <laughs> and get nominated next. Year. <laughs> Ronan says, "There's a pig pork joke in there somewhere." <laughs> Oh, now let's get to this. This next. Oh, this is absolutely horrifying. I'm. I'm sorry. Not sorry. Sorry. Not sorry. And say, uh, Tara, Tara. This is from Dublin. Um. Oh. Yeah. This is. This is. We have a lot of bad stuff this week. I think this is objectively the worst. Just in, in terms entirely of, in Europe this week. Eh, a bunch of it. Yeah. This is like RDA European vacation. <laughs> You'll wish it wasn't. Crane driver removed from sight. 
after being caught dropping a bag of own poo onto a roof in Dublin. Oh, no. Construction worker was removed from a building site after being caught dropping a bag of his own poo off a crane. Oh, God. the culprit was caught brown handed. Ew. And removed from the site after management got wind of the incident on Wednesday. Now, this is why it's just, this is, not only is it terrible, it's baffling. Um, disgusting footage of the foul act had quickly gone viral on social media. Now, you might be asking yourself, does, how was he filmed secretly? No, no. Uh, it captures the moment a construction worker threw a bag of his own shit off a crane in Dublin. The footage Seen by Dublin Live, the man reveals a plastic bag filled with poo while standing in the cab of the crane. The blue and red plastic bag is tied, is tied tightly while the man jokes about, quote, the joys of being a crane driver. The man, in the separate video, swings the tied bag above Dublin's skyline before dropping it onto a rooftop directly underneath the crane while cackling, cackling merrily to himself. He filmed himself. Throwing a bag of shit onto someone's roof. A bag of his own shit. That he had collected. Hey, listen, if you don't get bathroom breaks, that does suck. And I'm yes. sorry about that. Your employer should definitely do something about that for you. But yep. that's not really the way to raise awareness. No, it's not. You're, you're, yeah, because now you don't have a job. Yeah, the, the job is you, you. They you don't have. Why would you, I mean, I guess the upshot is you can go to the bathroom whenever you want now. That's true. Yeah. I mean, this is there's no obligation to keep you because look, I need a bathroom break. No. OK, I'm going to throw shit all over the place. See, that's even a union is going. Wait, no, man. No, no, no. Yeah, man. You, can't just, you can't just do that, buddy. That's no, not okay. No, you, no, man. That's you can't just throw your shit at people, man. We have that hasn't been cool with us for like a couple thousand years, man. You can't, you can't do that. When we were in Ireland, there was a sign saying that it was a four thousand euro fine, four thousand euro if you didn't pick up your dog's shit. <laughs> I suppose this guy. They don't could... fuck around with fecal matter in Ireland. Okay. I suppose this guy could say on a technicality, yes, but it's not my dog shit. It's mine. And legally, yeah, that's, that's going to be worse. That's probably going to be worse. Yeah. Uh, Rossetti, I've heard a shit posting, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Ir Ireland doesn't really fuck around with the fecal matter. They're not, they're not interested. Shitter on the Ain't roof, it. pooper on the roof. Yeah. Shat on a hot tin roof. <laughs> you guys are just having fun with with the uh, with with the puns tonight. <laughs> oh my god! What? Just a question, huh? I don't know how roomy the cab of a crane is. Not very. But like. How do you have space to stand up, drop trout, do your business? Good job on the aim, I guess. Uh, like, that's a little impressive when you think about it. I, I don't want to. No. Oh, this one, this, that, this, that, this one actually happened in January, but I just caught it because there is, um, there's video. And uh, it's it's kind of amazing. Um, I, I think we put this in the department of don't drive drunk because holy shit. And this is from Michigan. <gasps> there you go. Just a good old boy. Just a good old boy. Free real that was like fucking free willy, but with a car. Never meaning no harm. <clears throat> Like, you needed the little kid underneath to be like. There's this Michael Jackson song. Oh, we can't get that. Copyright. Um, wow. Vehicle uh, driven by suspected drunk driver goes airborne across Michigan Highway. He's alive. 
which is what's amazing. Oh. Look at that. Look at that fucking car. Uh, Door Township, Michigan. A car was caught on video the moment it went airborne for a snowy highway US 131 in Allegan County, Michigan. According to Michigan State Troopers, the black Chevy Impala. Explains it. Dean and Sam can't die. They're the main characters. <laughs> left the roadway driving up a dirt embankment when it went airborne and hit a roadside before landing on the passenger side in a ditch. Probably like Sam got hopped up on demon blood again. I already said the 25 year old driver from Kalamazoo su- survived the crash with non life threatening in- uh, injuries. Trooper say he was uh, taken to the hospital for evaluation and a blood draw because they believe he was exhibiting signs, multiple signs of intoxication. Um, Jesus Christ. Due to his injur- injuries, troopers say the driver was not arrested. Were they like, well, you've been punished enough. <laughs> right? <laughs> you guess... broke a rib. Maybe they're just going to wait till he gets out of the hospital to arrest him. But Jesus Christ. I have caught air in a car before. Dri- have you ever driven around Atlanta? It's not exactly San Francisco, but. He has. Yeah. All right, Dan. Yeah, Atlanta. In some places in Atlanta, it is it is like you, you hit a hill and it's just like whoa. Boom. Your suspension will get a workout. Um, and every time I've done it, I've it's it's like it's an automatic clench. Yeah, it's it's a it's your sphincter just whoop, like it, you. Yeah, I could not imagine just being. I love my car sometimes catches air on speed bumps, and that's enough of a thrill for me. I don't need to jump a highway. There, there, I don't think my car could go fast enough to do so anyway. There's instinctively a terrible sensation of being in a vehicle not intended to be in the sky that suddenly is in the sky. Yeah. He would disagree because he's a <laughs> psychopath. <laughs> but yeah, I don't I don't love it. I don't I don't even love being in, in vehicles that are intended to be in the sky. Yeah. Yeah, I, I gotta say, I even get well. Once we get up there, I'm pretty cool. But when you get started getting it, in, the getting up there part, yeah, I'll white knuckle it sometimes. For me. I'll white knuckle it. No, but just I gotta see that again because that's just <laughs> it really does look like Free Willy. It's something to behold. Can you just, I cannot imagine being on the highway and looking over and be like, "Wait, what? Woo, wee!" There he goes. There he goes. We. I I could not I could not do that. All right. It's a black. It's a black Impala. It's carry on my wayward son. Come on now. Last one this week, and this is from Chicago. Now, it is our. It is is typically our our. Grand old fashioned naked crazy, but one of the things about the airports that drives me nuts these days, especially at in the, we are in the post nine eleven airport world, we're never going back again. But one of the the idea is we sacrificed all this bullshit for the idea that things were actually being made secure, right? Yeah, we, and that's not true, by the way. No, it's all theater. We, we we have this idea that, okay, well, we have to go through this fucking line, take off our shoes and get our asses scanned and all this shit, but it's for a good reason. And then we get reminders sometimes that no, no, it really, that the, the, shit is complete. There, there is, yeah, it's, it's, fu- shit's fucked. Um, man jumps fence, strips, tries to climb onto private plane at Midway International Airport. Oh, Chicago, okay. Chicago police late Tuesday were investigating how a drunken man managed to hop a wire fence at Midway and tried to stop a private jet from taking off by jumping onto the plane. The man that only ma- works in rom coms, people. <laughs> Can't do that in real life. The man managed to scale a barbed wire fence. The fence is about he, 10 to 12 feet high. He stripped after that, right? Man got on the tarmac. Police said it looked like he left his shirt, shoes, and even pants behind. 
They said it was around 4.45 p.m. when the man jumped the fence. He tried to stop a plane from taking off, but then he took off his clothes. Quote, the guy is stripping butt naked right now, the pilot is heard saying over the... Uh, I've got to say it right. Uh, the guy is uh, stripping butt naked right now. Uh, uh. <laughs> got to say it right way. Um, the man had no shirt or shoes. Well, no service. And his jacket was left blowing in the wind on the barbed wire fence. They said the man appeared to be intoxicated as he started walking toward the small private jet. On the air traffic control scanner, you hear the pilot, who had just been clear for takeoff, react as the suspect tried climbing onto the wing of the plane. <laughs> There's something on the wing of the plane! It's a, it's a, it's a penis! <laughs> Uh, uh, he's right here at the uh, front of the jet, and he's trying to get in. Uh, our door is open here. <laughs> Later, the pilot said police had the suspect on the ground. He was giving them a fit. He was uh, finally, eventually allowed to take off. I have never been so drunk. I have never been hop a barbed wire fence, fight a plane drunk. I've never <laughs> been that drunk. No, no. But I promise you this will be the end of a Sandra Bullock movie within the next 10 years. <sighs> Except it'll work and she'll fall in love with him. Yeah, I... I don't know why people, like, even... I get why people throw a fit in public places. The airport, not a great idea. But I get why if you feel if you're humiliated, you know, I don't understand thinking you can win a fight with a plane. <laughs> it's a little plane. It's not one of the big ones. It's, it's way bigger than you still. It, 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 it doesn't matter. It, it doesn't know how big it is. You you're not going to win that fight. I know that Disney planes was not nearly as good a movie as Disney Cars. But that doesn't mean the planes are weaker. <laughs> Layton says, man, the Final Destination rebook re looks terrible. Oh, it's the porn parody. <laughs> it's not a reboot. It's the porn parody. Because uh... then he gets in and, you know, he and the girl go at it for about 20 minutes and then death kills them. Rossetti, I'm just picturing a naked dude sprawled across the windshield of a plane like an inside. Yeah, they turn on the wiper and his dick goes one way, his dick goes the other way. <laughs> Do, Do airplanes have wipers? I... Shit, I don't know. No. Now I gotta check. Uh, He's gonna do it for us. We're on YouTube, and like two seconds ago, the entire internet just like paused. Like, Wait, do they? And everybody's everybody in the fucking watching this just suddenly started googling. Wait, one, one, of the, one of the choices was: Do airplanes have horns? <laughs> yes, yes, they do. Yes, they I do. I mean, that's a Loki variant we didn't get into. <laughs> Airplane Loki. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> so there you go. Dan, Dan says airplanes have wipers. You're welcome. Oh, uh, well, the first thing, I guess the first thing we learned this week is airplanes have windshield wipers. <laughs> the more you know. Um, we've learned that all this security bullshit is um, you're not any more secure because at any moment a, a dude can just hop a barbed wire fence and start stripping on the tarmac. If you don't want to stand in the security line, there's an option. Just go to the runway and get naked, I guess. You're not going to get on a flight, but you'll have a really interesting day. Um, we've learned don't drink and launch. Uh, that was Jesus Christ. Um, we've learned be very careful at a construction site, not because, um, you know, a, a steel beam is going to land on your head, but might be poop. Maybe someone will just throw poop from a great... Now, oh, Christ, now I'm thinking about... You know that thing where you drop a penny off the Empire State Building? And it goes, like, go through your head and cut... What if somebody drops a bag of poop off the Empire... What happens then? Ew. Yeah, I know, right? I just... 
Okay. Um, we've learned that uh, the, the cops uh, sometimes are not the best at, uh, at, at being aware of their surroundings, shall we or, say. Or, you know, they're the, the laws. Yeah, they're, they're not good at law, which is surprising yet true. Um, we, we've learned that there are better scams than getting three vaccines a day. Yeah. Like, your fucking arm must have been like a fucking sprinkler. Just a dude on OAN every night being like, yeah, I got 87 vaccines. What? <laughs> have you died? No. Nope. I'm good. And finally this week we learned um, fraud is not a prank. No. That we, people tend to take that one a little seriously. Nor is it a good business practice. No, it's really not. It's, 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 we're, I, I have a great idea for how we're going to get our company noticed. What's that? We're just going to steal. Steal. Everyone will know who we are. It's free advertising. Yes, but you won't have a company anymore. Well, details. 